Hi, I'm John Grease III, editor and publisher of the Home Gym Quality Magazine. The only magazine in the world is written by and for home gym owners. Our YouTube channel is all about helping you achieve your fitness goals at home with workout tips, simple do-it-yourself projects that you can use to upgrade your home gym, interviews with the industry professionals who serve the home gym community, and of course, home gym tours from around the world. Today, national bench press record holder Don Markham gives us a tour of the detached building where he trains to excel on the powerlifting platform. Check it out. Hello everybody, my name is Don Markham. I wanted to give you a tour of our uh, family gym. It's a converted storage building. We didn't really have a garage to convert, so we converted the next best thing. Uh, we bought a 14 by 32 foot cabin style building and we converted it into our uh, family gym. So I hope you guys enjoy. So right here we got the front porch. As we got the front porch, we got the plants to try to kind of keep uh, kind of in tune with the garden and the yard. When you walk in the door, the first thing you see is the house of gain signs uh, that we had made at work. We also have a uh, leg extension, leg curl, and a little accessory bench, just some basic stuff. Some power lifting trophies uh, and awards I'd won. This one here, which I'm kind of proud of, but may, may not be a big thing to some people, which is a national record for bench press and NASA Federation, state record in NASA Federation. So on this side, we have the landmine you can see the landmine attachment, just a little bit of artwork on the wall. As we come around, we have some dumbbells, kettlebells, and some accessory stuff. And the, what I really like is the fact that we have these adjustable dumbbells over here. We have, you know, just some other artwork, uh, bumper plates and standard steel plates. We have eight 45 pound steel plates, two 45 pound bumper plates, two 35 bumper plates and two 10 pound bumper plates, along with a little collage that we kind of did. Again, try to keep you in the mood and keep you fired up. One of our AC units. On this side, we have a safety squat bar, a multi-grip bar or Swiss bar, axle bar, and a couple barbells. Uh, the rack is an old school Mac rack. This is a old rack that was made probably about the late 80s, early 90s. A little outdated, but uh, it's very strong, very functional, and uh, still standing. We have uh, the Enzer, you know, Enzer uh, banner as well as the uh, Conquer banner. Uh, a little bit of artwork up top. On this side we have the hex bar, the stand for the landmine, some boards for calf raises, uh, the linebacker attachment by Tyson by Titan. That's a pretty nice little attachment if you don't have it. You know, the uh, Viking grip, uh, tricep ropes, some bars, ropes, uh, T bar uh, T bar attachment for doing uh, lap pulls. We have the wraps, belts, slingshot, ankle straps, other attachments to use uh, this cable machine right here, which is a nice little addition. And that's all plate loaded. Uh, we have the belt that we use for belt squats, hook grips, uh, some straps and uh, some uh, resistance bands. As we come down this way, on the other side, we have uh, neoprene knee sleeves, uh, calf sleeves and some other uh, things like gloves and some other nice little attachments. Uh, on this side, we have one of our weight trees for this side of the gym, which is uh, has eight tens, uh, five, uh, eight tens, eight fives, and two homemade plates. And these are some homemade 47 pound plates that we burned and they work pretty good, three quarter inch thick, and they're solid steel. We have a, uh, an older uh, Smith machine, which is functional. Uh, this is something we want to upgrade a little bit later. A couple lap bars. For the cable pull and again these are 49 pound plates on this side which is also homemade uh three like i said three quarter inch thick kind of a little bit unique and they work really well on this side we have six uh six 25 pound plates some two and a half some another weight tree uh some of the artwork uh this banner right here is one of my favorites which is a death before dishonor uh banner depth which is a squat company makes some pretty cool shirts and stuff um, we got the eight man strong bench uh tough uh tough wraps bench row records and then some other miscellaneous artwork artwork we have a titan sissy squat bar a sissy squat machine one of the ab bars this little area right here which is the couch uh for now which will later become a uh, sled or a leg press machine once uh the covid uh pandemic on fitness equipment goes away we have a deep freeze for storage of some extra food as well as 
you know, the TV for streaming videos, and we do have rabbit ears for getting games and other stuff. To kind of give you again an overview, this is over here is the free weight area. Uh, pretty much everything you need for doing any kind of weight training. And as we pan back around, we have the accessory area for the uh, accessory machines. So I hope you enjoy. I uh, hope it gives some of you guys some ideas. Um, feel free if, if this does get to post it uh, to leave some comments, some ideas, uh, some things you like or some things you, you may see need to change. Uh, again, thank you. Bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now it's time for you to give us a look at your home gym. Send an email to garagegymlifellc at gmail.com and we'll respond with all the information so you can submit your video and give our viewers the grand tour of the best gym in town. See you next time. Thank you.